Good morning, Sagittarius. This is going to be your video. First of all, I want to say, usually I put my phone on Do Not Disturb, um, but I had to go all weekend without internet, and I have a technician from Comcast coming from 3 to 5, and they may be calling me to confirm the appointment, and God knows I don't want to miss that after going the whole, like, four days, three days without internet. Um, that's the reason why, you know, it's I haven't got the videos done yet, so I apologize. So I just want to say that ahead of time. You guys know how it is with Comcast, and I have got to get my internet. So I said, well, let me go ahead and make these videos. That way, all I have to do is upload them when they get me back online later. So I hope everybody had a great weekend. I know um, I got to spend time, you know, with family and friends yesterday. It was really nice. Had a good time. We don't always need technology to have fun. Otherwise, I would have probably been stuck in the house watching Netflix. Got to get outdoors and play a little bit, so I'm grateful. The universe knows better than I do, I guess. That's that one sticking out. So here I am. And I'm not really technological enough to figure out how to pause this recording and restart it. I hope, you know, nobody bothers me while I'm making the video. Alright, I need cards for Sagittarius. Cards for Sagittarius. To give the best possible energetic reading. And in the month of September, I'm doing $40 reading, or not $40, $30 readings. I'll include in the description of the video my email address if anyone wants to get a hold of me um, to schedule theirs. Come on. Cards for Sagittarius. Cards for Sagittarius. Vampire Oracle, Vampire Oracle for Sagittarius. My Sagittarius friends. To give the best highest possible energetic reading for Sagittarius. Romance Angels. Oh, my fairies. Love your inner goddess, goddess, inner goddess. I was guided to grab this deck. Mm. Boy, too many. All right. And what I've been doing is, um, towards like the end of last month's readings, um, I am literally just reading the cards intuitively, reading the energy of the cards, and not talking so much about what the card is supposed to mean in like traditional tarot readings, or even, you know, a lot of times not even what the card says or the suit or anything, just the energy of the card, and it's been giving me um, better readings, so... Wow. 
this card here has to do with having an identity crisis and I feel like this kind of came up for you um, the last time Sagittarius as well where you're kind of stripping off what isn't you um, you are learning that you are this triune being um, that we all are that, you know we're our, we have these physical meat suits that we are in and we have our mind which is our ego which is full of like whatever happened to us in our childhood you know our family beliefs you know um, any type of beliefs that we were raised up with um, any type of um, cultural conditioning social conditioning that we took on that is your ego and then we have our soul who is that's who we really truly are is our soul having this human experience um, and so you're stripping away um, whatever is not you right now and you're even questioning things that you were taught things that you were raised to believe um, and that is part of maturity um, questioning things that you know you were raised up to believe I mean how many uh, people how many human beings were raised as a child to dislike another um, race or another et different ethnicity or raised to believe that their religion is the truth and that there are no other truths on the planet but their own um, so this is something that you are actually stripping away right now and this is this is some uh, this is a download that I received about a week ago and follow me for a minute if we are souls simulating our physical reality okay ancient souls who've had more existences more we've been other things you know maybe a different gender maybe a different race a different ethnicity um, a different religion um, so when you lived then your soul was on a different timeline a different totally different experience that was your truth then and this is your truth now but what truly is your truth are you that physical form that has had those other experiences that's having this experience or are you the soul who is the observer of it all you are the soul who is the observer of it all we have broken heart this video is gonna be a little longer than usual because I'm a little ah, but I mean lots of things are coming through so bear with me all right so we have um, this broken heart and the reason why you have this broken heart card is because of expectations not only expectations but that belief system that you have that you have been totally um, unable to kind of see past and those expectations follow um, you expect everyone to kind of believe the same way that you do you know this is the truth about your world and if other people don't fit into that truth then they can't they it's like there's no room for them there's no part for them but yet the people who you've been dealing with who are on the same page with you maybe religiously maybe they're the same race um, the same age the same ethnicity they have maybe they're you know Republican you're Republican or whatever it is um, they've been you know you can't connect with them the way you need to and that's because it's just surface deep and that's the reason why your heart keeps getting broken because you are not um, you're not seeing past the surface and actually seeing the soul within somebody um, and that none of this physical shit none of this conditioning none of this ideology even matters in affairs of the heart if you can get to the point where um, you can see past the surface you can see past ideology you can see past what's going on in the physical world and tap into the spiritual world 
um, and deal with souls instead of the physical packaging, which is not who we are anyway. You will have this delight. You will have the love that you seek because you will be loving and you will be accepting of others. Whatever energetic signal you send out into the universe is what will come back to you. We have false person and we have lovers. There are a lot of people out here, and, and especially women. I'm sorry, I'm a woman, but I'm going to say it. There are a lot of women out here looking for a husband. That is their end game. Um, and in order to do that, and even men too, men do this too, meet somebody, size them up. You know, they can look at your social media, see what um, you believe in, what are your causes, what are your politics, what is your religion, and they're going to give you that. Why are they going to give you that? Because, like, you know what? This person would make a great spouse, which has nothing to do with love. It has to do with, you know, security, stability, status, you know, whatever. So um, that's why you've got to release that. We have lovers, you know, and maybe, you know, um, you have the choice between two people. And maybe that one person you know is like on the same page i mean you know the the kind of the image that i'm getting is um imagine somebody you know with social status and with money um and you know like your parents okay they want you to marry a certain person who also is of money and social status now if you would marry someone who like was not a republican who did not go to the, have a country club membership who um, was not had not been to an Ivy League school whatever the hell it is then your parents your family would not approve they would disinherit you cut you off whatever you know if you married somebody you know from a trailer park for instance you know something like that um, you know so we have the scenario that you know um, you want to be able to love who you love um, without worrying about what other people are going to say or how they're going to feel about you. I mean, this is this theme is coming through tough. I mean, really hard, Sagittarius. You got to stop worrying about how other people are going to perceive you, how other people um, view you. And this card here, I'm picking up strong on religion. Um, and like I said, you know, imagine this, okay? Imagine your soul was at one point was in like, on like even like another planet. You know, I've heard this is true. I don't know. I've never had any type of downloads like that come through for me um, where I am aware of any extra planetary timelines that my soul has had yet. I'm not saying it didn't happen, but for me, I have not, you know, tapped into that yet. But let's say, for example, you know, you your soul had one point been on another planet. And on that planet, they had, I mean, you know, like here, like it's Christianity. Christianity is everywhere. That's what you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be a Christian. Well, imagine it was something else. It was like some other mainstream religion everyone was supposed to be. Okay. And once again... Are you that physical form that has experienced this twice mainstream religion that everyone um, is supposed to be a part of? Or are you that soul that is free from religion? Why would a soul that's an intricate part of the universe need religion? Enlightenment, inspiration, epiphany, innovation. So I feel like um, more and more things are coming to you, more and more enlightenment. Um, like I said, really questioning things that you were firm about um, and kind of looking at things from a different point of view. And um, these epiphanies can come in as, um, like I said, downloads of information. I get downloads of information all the time when I meditate. Um, and so this can be happening for you, having these epiphanies. 
and understanding that, you know, things are not just black and white like you thought they were. So many people, and I had posted this on social media, people are scared to death to hear something that's contrary to their beliefs and their views. Now, I know if I really believe in something, that's something I really, really believe in, I'm not going to give a shit what everyone else around me is doing or what they're saying. Because it's not going to affect how I feel about something. I mean, it's almost like people are scared, like somehow that information is going to permeate. It's going to like intrude. It's going to like wormhole its way into, you know, your mind. And oh God, you know, I, all of a sudden I just don't believe the way that I did. And I've been taken over, you know, by Satan or evil dark forces or whatever. You know, it's, it's not the case. Ecstasy. Um, this has to do with peace. This has to do with peace. And if you want peace, you have to be peaceful. If you want love, you have to be loving. If you want to um, be forgiven, you need to be forgiving. Whatever energetic signal you send out into the universe will come back to you. Check your intentions. Um, I posted something on, you know, I have a page where I post like my downloads and stuff on Facebook. It's called Tracy Sunshine Porter. Um, and I had said something to the effect that how many people will post something on social media, for instance, with the intention of someone else seeing it? I want someone to see this. Okay. Well, that's your intention. That's the reason why you did it. And the intention is way more important than why you did it because that's the energetic signal you send out. So let's say, for example, you want an ex or someone else's ex to see something. So you post a picture of you and, you know, your new boo or whatever. Now, when that particular situation draws to you, attracts to you, jealousy, competition, gossip, whatever it is, whatever kind of drama, guess what? You align to it. That was the signal you sent out. That was the intention you sent out. And that's exactly what you're going to get back. So if you want peace, you have to be peaceful and check in with your intentions and make sure they're not messy. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. You know, this has everything to do with faith. And this has to do with what I picked up on this card with those intentions. Make sure your intentions are pure because otherwise all you're trying to do is control and manipulate a situation. And then when it backfires, you're like, how did this happen? And all of a sudden I'm in this messy, dramatic mess. You align to it. That's, that's the signal you sent out. That's what you got back. Um, so like I said, check in with your intentions, one. Two, get out of your own way. Stop worrying about things. Have faith that everything is going to work out exactly as it's supposed to. Whatever is for you, you will have in the most perfect way. You don't have to fight, beg, plead. You don't have to manipulate. You don't have to try to control the situation. It just happens. It just flows. That's how energy works. You know, I'm, I'm almost picking up on like this volatile, like this energy of really being super stressed out. Um, you're super stressed out because you're not setting healthy boundaries with people. Um, you are not determining, you know what, this is my shit, that's your shit. That's your, that's your issue, it has nothing to do with me. When we take on other people's problems as our own, guess what, or if look at it this way, or if we are concerned with other people, period, about what they're thinking about us, how they feel about us, how we are viewed by society, because I mean, that is like a big one coming through here, Sagittarius, really being concerned with social status, how you are viewed by others. This is really building right now where you are just going to have a tower moment. You're going to just melt down because you can't be everything to everyone all the time. You can't. You can't be in this pleasing others state all the time, um, worried about your image. 
you need to focus on yourself and not you take your power back when you do not care what other people think or how they feel about you period take your power back all right we have bliss contentment satisfaction and security you will sleep better at night you will have that peace that you want when you stop worrying about others they have your shit you have yours um, and you know what, believe it or not, people are not as worried about you as you think they are for the simple fact that they have their own shit. And the only time people are going to be focused on you or worried about you is when you set that intention. When you are in that see me energy, that ego validation energy, I, I, you know, I want people to see me. I want people to approve of me. I want people to validate me. You will sleep a lot better at night. You will have the peace that you seek when you release that energy. Fertility, fruition, this is about bringing things to your physical reality that are for you, that resonate with your soul, that um, are in alignment with your soul. And how do you do that? You do that by everything that I've mentioned here today. <laughs> not worrying about society, not worrying about what other people think, not trying to please others. Um, stepping into your true authentic self, releasing ideology that no longer um, serves you, um, following your heart, not worrying about how you know it's perceived by others, not worried about societal status, um, not worrying about the physical packaging or uh, the physical circumstances behind a connection with somebody else. I said that this fruition, that is how you align to your soul, how you align to uh, what is truly for you. Now I have um, Shaman of Skulls, and everyone who knows me knows I love skulls. I love, love, love skulls. They're like my favorite thing in the whole world. I mean, just literally this card here could be about me. I mean, this is my card. This is my energy. <laughs> this is me. Um, you know, so finding what is you. Finding your authentic self, things that you love, things that resonate with you. I know I spent years as a wife and a mother and I did not have time to do any self-exploration to um, find out what really truly resonated with me until my kids were gone, grown and I got a divorce. I mean now I know like things that I like, things that resonate with me um, and they weren't what I thought they were before because I was just following other people. I was being very sheepish. You know don't be scared to be um, eccentric. Don't be scared to be quirky. Don't be scared to be different. That is the message of this card. Well, Sagittarius, thank you very much for watching. Um, and like I said, if you'd like to have a personal reading, um, do reach out to me. I'll include in the description of the video my email address. Thank you for watching.